Good morning, everybody. It's Ramona, and I have a little Dollar Tree haul for you today. I had no intention of doing a Dollar Tree haul. I needed to go to Dollar Tree. I had five things on my list. I got my five things, plus I got a little bit more. Um, and so there was a couple of good finds in here, so I thought I would do a Dollar Tree haul. I don't, I'm not a Dollar Tree hauler. I watch Dollar Tree hauls a lot. Um, and I do like to shop at Dollar Tree because you just never know what you're going to find. So let's get started. This first thing I did not get at Dollar Tree, I was at CVS and they had some Carmex. Um, this is an old like Christmas tree um, combo and it was four for $2.79. I prefer Carmex over um, the other lip balm. Um, it's on the tip of my tongue. Is the other popular one but Carmex just is a little more emollient it stays on my lips longer I usually use the squeezy tube of Carmex especially at night when I go to bed I use that one and the Laneige uh, night balm whatever it's called um, and I do really I actually like Carmex better than the Laneige and uh, but I thought I would try the you know the solid bombs I'll probably take one to work put one in my easy chair put the others in the bedroom but I do like lip balm so and I don't like dry lips I'll either have lipstick on or lip gloss or if nothing then a lip balm and I do like um, the Carmex brand okay so that's that so all the rest of this came from Dollar Tree um, I picked up a grill mates a lot of you know you don't know again as I said you don't know what you're gonna find at Dollar Tree a lot of times they have name brand things you'll see some name brand here stuff in a minute and um, they have like name brand cereals there as well, like Cheerios. Uh, in the fall, I got the big, uh, I think it was pumpkin spice Cheerios, uh, the family box for $1. So you just have to go and look around. But anyway, so McCormick Grill Mates Chili and Lime. And I use these marinades all the time for chicken, shrimp. And I thought this one would be really good uh, for shrimp, chili, and lime to put on salads or just have whatever. Um, I bought two of these Edwards uh, key lime pies in the frozen food section. And Edwards is another name brand that's in there. They had turtle pie, you know, several different brands. But I really love key lime pie. So those are nice little individual portions. So that works for me. Lighter lights, lighter candle lighters, uh, barbecues, blah, blah, blah. These are always a dollar at Dollar Tree. So why spend, you know, three, four, five dollars for a name brand at Walmart or Target or whatever when these are always a dollar, they work just as well. They have lots of, you know, accelerant or, you know, lighter oil. I'm not sure what it's called in there. Um, so I always have a couple of these. I have one in rotation now and I have one in backup and this is number two in backup. So yeah, I, I buy these all, all the time. I don't buy lighters anywhere else. Uh, I needed some envelopes, so I got 40 letter size envelopes and these are security envelopes. That means they're lined on the inside. So 40 envelopes for $1. You just, I mean, I don't use a lot of envelopes. I think, uh, you know, I don't know, but if you need envelopes, get them there. Paper bags, 40 paper bags for $1. Um, I use these to scoop out the litter box and then these go in the trash and uh, you know that I like to um, occasionally melt candles into molds if it's not throwing or you know if I just want it in more than one place a good option is to melt your candle then you'll have melts and you can put it in multiple warmers all over the house so I have quite a few um, silicone wax molds and they're very floppy and sloppy and they you know flop all over the place so I just bought one of these bags it was just a bag I don't know, it says good things are coming and it has a nice wide bottom. It's a big wide bag, so that should hold all the molds and keep them organized back in the closet. Speaking of candles and such, I did pick up a, a couple of candles. Now, they're $1 candles. They're small candles. Do I expect them to fill a room, the kitchen? No, I do not. Probably they'll be bathroom or, you know, small bedroom candles, maybe like in the, in the spare room, in the craft room or whatever you want to call it. Um, so, and I've seen a couple of these hauled by people, and one of them is the Old Williamsburg Pure Tea Leaf Candle in a cute little tin like that. And I do smell sweet tea. Smells good. 
So uh, we'll see. Um, another one I got from Old Williamsburg is Guava Coconut. And there was another one there in this format. I think it was Cucumber Melon or something like that. But this one, this one is super strong. For a little candle like this, it's really impressing me. Now, how are they going to burn? I have no idea. Um, but so far, the, those first two, the, the wicks seem to be centered. So, and they smell good. So we'll see. Um, and then the last, not the last two, but the next two are these little coffee, uh, inspired candles they're half full be nice if they were a little bit fuller but you know it's a dollar and um they have these cute little like coffee lids there was four in the collection there was another one cookies and cream and the other one was um chocolate mocha coffee something which i'm not a huge fan of so i, I left that one i left the cookies and cream so this one is colombian cold brew and it's a strong dark coffee not creamy, just a strong black coffee. So uh, I'm interested to see how that one goes. And this one is Cafe au lait. And this is creamy coffee. Really good. Really, both of them really nice scents. So hopefully they will throw in some way, shape, or form. Again, I'm not expecting much. They're just $1. So, you know, if I get a little throw in a little room, that'll be fine. And then this one, I could not pass up. It is from Pillsbury. Look, there's a Pillsbury Doughboy right there. Fresh blueberry pie. And a little candle like this. This one out of all of them is the weakest. Uh, faintly, I smell a little bit of blueberry. Just a little bit. Um, so, you know, probably I won't, I won't be bowled out of the house by that one or by any of them possibly, I don't know. Okay, speaking of coffee. Now, you might know that I do enjoy coffee scents. Uh, coffee candles, I just hauled a coffee sampler last night. I just posted a couple of weeks ago my coffee collection, so yeah, I like coffee. So in my little laundry room slash pantry, one side is the laundry, the other side is the pantry, um, I just, you know, have different air fresheners in there and whatnot. And last week I had put in a little uh, scent shot of coffee in there. And I know it sounds crazy. Probably I should have some laundry scents in there. But I just, it's like, I want to, I want to smell coffee when I walk in here. I don't know why. Just because coffee makes me feel not clean, but I don't know, homey or... I don't know. I just like the smell of coffee. I can't explain it. So anyway, I bought this little $1 spice jar. It has holes in it. So you spice, you know, I don't, maybe it might be salt and pepper jar. I don't think so because that'd be too, well, you know, anyway, whatever. It's a jar with holes in it. I bought a $1 bottle of coffee and I'm going to put the coffee in here. I'm going to put this on the shelf in the pantry and see what happens if I can get some coffee smell in there. Okay, moving on, I bought two bottles of mouthwash. That's where I get my mouthwash there as well. Now, this I think is the find of the day. As I said before, you don't know what you're gonna find at Dollar Tree. Frequently, you'll find name brand items, which I did today. This is soft soap and dial hand soaps. Um, now, one thing you need to look for when you're buying discount hand soaps that, you know, I know Joann's has a bunch of hand soaps at their checkouts, you know, Dollar Tree, Marshall, whatever, you know, Dollar General, is sometimes you'll notice that the soap is really kind of watered down and it's thin. I don't know if you can see that, but this appears to my eye to be pretty decently thick. Like, I don't think it's been watered down in any way, shape, or form. I don't know. It's just, just an observation, just a theory. I have no idea if it's true or not. But... So I got uh, four of these. This one is wild basil and lime. This one is really, really good. I love this one. I love that one. Just, I almost smell, I don't really smell any basil, but I smell lime. And of course it's just hand soap. I'm gonna wash it down the drain anyway, you know, whatever. But um, I do like that one. And the other one from Soft Soap that I got was Peony and Plum. This one, I was hoping um, I'm getting the peony, but I'm not really getting any fruitiness or the plum note. So I like it, but out of the four of these, that's my least favorite. And then I got two from Dial. This one is Himalayan salt. I've had this one before. This one also is really good. 
just very fresh, clean, spa-like. I really love this one a lot. And I really love this one a lot. This one is new to me, coconut water and mango. And this one also is very good. Very coconut, very, very coconut. Um, and interestingly, this one is 25% more for the same price, $1. And this one is 9.375 ounces. This one is 7.5 ounces. So that's a really good deal too. And these ones also, <coughs> pardon me, are just as thick as the soft soap. So I think that's a pretty good deal for name brand hand soaps for $4. Um, because even when Bath & Body Works, as much as I love their scents, um, and I am, I think I've only got maybe one or two Bath & Body Works hand soaps left. I mean, last year, maybe even two years ago, I was like, ugh, I had like 15 hand soaps at one point. And it's just me here, like it'll take me forever. But uh, I'm, I am getting through them and they're almost gone. So anyway, as I was saying, even when they go on sale, and as much as I love them, <clears throat> they're still, you know, $3.75 for hand soap, I don't know. Um, and maybe they go cheaper than that. I don't know, because I haven't bought hand soaps, like I said, in you know a year and a half or more from Bath & Body Works. Uh, and I don't really pay attention to the Bath & Body Works hand soap sale, because I know I'm not going to buy any. And if I go and look, I will, so I don't. But I'm very pleased with this price for hand soaps for $4, name brand, and they all smell good. So that is it for my Dollar Tree haul. Um, like I said, I always am watching Dollar Tree hauls. Uh, who uh, uh, her name is um, Bargain Beauty is one. Oh gosh, Bargain Beauty is one, and Bargain Bethany is another. Is her name Bargain Beauty? I think it is. Uh, she has lots of Dollar Tree hauls and Dollar General hauls. She like, uh, and and. Um, Big Lots haul. She goes to Big Lots a lot too. And I started getting into Big Lots last year after watching her. But anyway, so check those gals out. Check out your own Dollar Tree because you never know what you will find. So I will see you later. Bye.